Good morning and God bless you. We're delighted to have you with us here this morning. Perhaps this is your first time joining with us. We're delighted to have you as well. Well, this morning, which is Friday morning, is dedicated to having younger, fresher voices contributing here to our morning devotionals. And we're delighted to have Brother Austin Seymour is going to be providing us with a devotional this morning. So without any further delay, uh, let's hear from Brother Austin Seymour. God bless you. We we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Good morning and God bless you. I would like to uh, take this opportunity and just thank Pastor Mayo one more time for allowing me to bring a devotion to Cornerstone's YouTube channel. Um, with that, let's um, take a moment and pray this morning. God, we thank you for another opportunity, another day to come into your presence, to seek your face. God, I ask that you'll bless each and every person that is listening to this devotion today. God, I pray that you'll just give us an extra touch here today. God, wrap your arms around us on this Friday morning. God, help us throughout our day, whether that be at work or at home or at school. God, whatever the case may be, God, touch each and every person that is sick. There's a lot of sickness going around. God, I ask that you just reach down and give us a warm hug today and help us in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> well, this last Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, and that I had something totally different for this devotion, but I believe God brought something to the forefront of my mind and put this on my heart. It's just a simple thought. And it was kind of inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and his I Have a Dream speech that was given August the 28th, 1963. His dream spoke, excuse me, his I Have a Dream speech spoke of his dream for the United States being void of segregation and racism. Um, I'm not really going down that uh, path today, but I do want to take the thought and the title of I Have a Dream and change it up a little bit because we have a dream as Christians, as children of the Most High God. We have a dream of heaven. Better yet, it's a promise of heaven. And this got me thinking, and I found a scripture in Revelation 21, 1 through 7. It's a little bit lengthy read, but I'm going to start with that. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of, of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. So just with that reading today, and with the thought of I have a dream, we have this dream and hope of heaven. And it began me thinking like, I have this hope of heaven and this dream of heaven without any pain, without any sorrow, without any anger, without any malice. I feel the Holy Ghost today because it's been on the forefront of my mind for a week now. A life and a, and a place with no more frustration, with no more hatred, with no more 
vileness. Ultimately, and we we there's I have a list of things here today, but put something in your life that you're struggling with today. Our church is in a time of prayer and fasting, and it seems like when we're united, the devil stirs things up. And it's easy for us to lose that focus of what we're really trying to accomplish, what we're really working towards. And I would like to bring this to us today as a reminder of our hope is heaven. Our dream is heaven. That's what my goal in my life is. When my workplace is frustrating, when when my life, with my relationships, with my friendships, when the media, when the, the turmoil of this world that is being pushed down our throat on a daily basis with the agendas of the world, with the pressures of this life are coming at us. If we can learn to set those things aside and focus on that dream, just as Martin Luther King Jr., these dreams will go nowhere without people. And with that dream and hope of heaven, it's no good if you can't share it with somebody. If you, What is heaven without people? Take a moment and think about that. What is heaven without a soul? It's, it's nothing. So let us take that promise that God has given you and I, that hope and dream of heaven, of salvation, and let us share it. Let us share it with those on our jobs. Let us show, share it with our neighbors. Let us share it with our family members that may not have experienced this beautiful gospel. Let's go out and win a soul. This is a burden that's been on me for a week. Heaven is real. This hope is real. And there are things changing on a daily basis. And we can be caught up with the cares of this life that fast. That's all I have today, but let's remember the hope and the dream of heaven. What really matters is making it to heaven, achieving that goal of everlasting life. But let's bring someone with us. Let's reach for that person. I've been challenged myself. When I'm trying to talk to somebody about God, to stop looking at them as a person and start looking at them as a soul. That's a soul. Regardless of their appearance, regardless of their speech, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their walk of life, that is a soul. And that is the Great Commission. We're called to be soul winners. May God bless you. I hope this helped you today. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see each and every one of you Sunday morning. And I pray that God, and I know God, there'll be a miraculous move of the Holy Ghost. God bless.